Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, if you're a brand new player to GTA 5 Online and you're going to want to watch this video, I'm about to show you how to get your hands on this. The rare Navy Revolver and a $250,000 bonus. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Oddman105 here, and welcome back to the channel. Now, in this short tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you new players how to complete the Serial Killer Navy Revolver Challenge, in addition to getting a $250,000 bonus for completing that challenge. When you do so, you'll unlock the rare Navy Revolver in both GTA Online and Red Dead Redemption Online as well. Now, you don't need any Thing special for this. There are no requirements for this challenge. You can begin this at level one. The only recommendation is that you have a flying vehicle of some sort, preferably a helicopter, to complete the mission, and you guys will see why uh, as we play this through. Now, with that being said, let's begin. Okay, guys, so what you want to do to begin the challenge is search the map for a set of five serial killer clues. Now, the first four clues can be found in any order. However, the fifth clue will spawn at five random locations throughout the map. And we're going to visit all five locations uh, during this tutorial. However, for the time being, let's go visit the first location, which I believe to be the easiest. So let's just go there and find it. So right now, we're here on the map for the first clue. Now, you can get these clues. Oops. You can get these clues in any order that you want. But this is by far one of the easiest, so we're going to go for this one first. And the closer you get to the clue, you'll begin to hear voices. You can hear the whispering. Okay, it's on the other side of the building. Right there. Here's our first clue. And of course, the closer you get to the clue, you'll notice that your controller begins to vibrate. Okay. Oh yeah, I can find you, buddy. And you get $5,000 for each clue that you find. So, let's keep going. Okay, we're coming up on the location for the second clue. And again, you can find these clues in any order that you want. The second clue is just north of the Sandy Shores airfield. So as you can see, we're right here on the map. See, there should be a bunch of trash bags around here. Okay, so just to the west of where we landed, you can... Okay, you can start to hear the whispering. Okay, there's a bunch of trash bags here. Controllers vibrating, so yep, here's our next clue. Ooh, a severed hand. We got 10,000 for that. All right, next clue. All right, we're coming up on the third location. Oops, we fixed that. That's better. We are right here on the map. Our clue should be right on the side of that building. There it is. A machete. Okay, and we got 15k. Let's keep going. 
Okay, we're coming up on the fourth clue. We should be right out here at this uh, Motel 6 in Polito Bay. Uh, for these treasure hunt missions and these uh, slasher missions, you want to make sure that you have a helicopter or some kind of an air vehicle uh, because you're going to need it. Okay, so where was that clue? Oh, it's on the back of an outhouse, I think. I can hear it. Yep, should be this way. Can you hear the whispering? There it is. Here's clue number four. Bam, 20,000. Okay guys, first possible spawn location for the black van is in this area. But for us this is a no-go so we're going to keep moving. Okay guys, we're at the second location and we found it. Let me land this thing. Okay. We're right here on the map. We're at the uh, swamps just south of Fort Sam Kudo. Right here on the map. Okay, you can hear it. And there's our van. Such carnage. All right. 25,000. Nice. Okay, we should be getting a message from the slasher himself. There it is. I'm sick of your sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Now, I'm not going to lie. What happens next won't be nice for you. Oh, buddy, I got something for your ass. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Okay guys, and we're coming up on the third spawn, possible spawn location for the black van. We're right here on the map. The black van should spawn right behind this red tank or somewhere in this area. But as you guys saw, we already found it. So this is one of the possible five spawn locations for the black van. Okay, let's keep going. There are two more. Hey okay, guys, the fourth spawn location will be right here uh, underneath this uh, highway overpass near the railroad tracks in this area on the map. So basically what you want to look for is this rotary here, which is just to the east of the Alamo Sea. And then go further east of that, and it should be right here on the map. And the black man should be parked somewhere under here. But this is spawn location number four. Alright, one left. Let's find it. Okay guys, and we're coming up on the last possible spawn location for the black van. Essentially, if you follow that rail line uh, due north, you're going to come across this section here. We're right here on the map. Okay, and the landmark is going to be these pallets and these planks laid right out over here. The black van will be parked right in this area. Okay, now 
to get the slasher to come after us, what we need to do. We're getting close to the hours right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m., the slasher will come uh, get us. Uh, the best place, however, is to lure the slasher out to the Sandy Shores airfield where it's nice and open. So, <laughs> the slasher's right behind me, and he just hit me. You son of a... Okay. Jackass. That's for hitting me from behind. I just landed the helicopter, and the son of a bitch slashed me in the back. That's okay. He's dead now. <laughs> All right. So there's our message. 50 kills with the Navy revolver, and uh, we're going to get paid again, so let's go do that now. Man, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, guys, we're about to finish up the Navy revolver challenge. That's it. Bam. And just like that, we got $200,000. Plus the additional we made for finding the uh, clues. So, we can just let these guys kill us now. Okay, that was fun. Okay, guys, and uh, that's how you complete the Navy Revolver Challenge and Slasher Challenge, since they're both one and the same. As you guys saw, 50 headshots will get you 200,000 plus whatever uh, money extra you made from finding the clue. So it's about 250k. That's good, easy, early game money for any new player. You guys don't sleep on that. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, and if you found this tutorial informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.